Right, I've got to Sutton Mallet Church, which is um, under the care of the redundant. Is it the redundant churches? Under the care of the Churches Conservation Trust. It's no longer used for regular worship, but remains concentrated and open to all. Right, I'm going to put my glasses on. Here we've got a very base of an old cross here. Could be originally Saxon, we don't, it might not be. Something written up there, 1825. Loads of moths came in with me. Yeah, a lot of them don't have um, magazines, unfortunately. Ah, this one does. Sutton Mallet Church. Its um, age is uncertain, but it's clear that its 15th century was dependent on the chapelry of Moorlinch Church. The chapelry may already have come into existence by 1262. Sutton Mallet lies between the southern slopes of the Polden Hills and the flat expanse of King Sedgemoor, and the road which runs southward past the churchyard connects the village with a network of Sedgemoor droves. The Polden Ridgeway may be prehistoric in origin and in the Roman period connected the Fossway of Ilchester with ports on the River Parrot. In Saxon times, Glastonbury Abbey owned a large estate on the Poldens. Yeah. It's quite a good picture of it, isn't it? <sighs> right, well I'll leave that there. I'll have one of those before I leave. This looks like it's been made by a potter's wheel, doesn't it? This one, how it goes round like that. Another redundant church, look, isn't it sad? Stripped of all its ornaments, probably, as well. Even if it had any. There's a gallery up there, look. Very Puritan looking with the boxes, pew boxes, where families... Families would have come in here, look. In Puritan times. And sat down here in these pews around here. You'd have to pay the subscription probably to have had a box of your own. Other people would have stood or gone at the back look. Some stained glass. There's a little place in here. I don't know what this would be. Maybe they put naughty children in there. See? They weren't very big in those days people either. You'd have to fear us as well. That they put people over here. <laughs> yeah, it's got a type of octagonal shape, hasn't it? That bit there. This tablet was erected by the parishioners in sad, sacred memory of the men of this parish who sacrificed their lives in the great fight for liberty and honour, 1914 to 1918. You've got an Elson, a Lowcock, Conduit, Elson, another one. Orham, White. Dauban, French, Ireland. Made of marble. Some hymns there, I'll have to look them up sometime. 640-564-506-689. I will look them up at some point. And this one, we've got the Bible. Somebody maybe below the vicar would have 
stood here, look. And there is an inscription, which I'll try and get on here. I, know, I might be able to read it with my glasses. The gift of James Collins for the use of the pulpit at something chapel, June the 17th, it looks like 1836. Now this was given to the church at some point. And look how well worn those steps would have been, the people that in the past would have walked over here when churches were very popular. And here we have another one. Little leaflets. Little booklets. So up here we've got the pulpit and an even bigger Bible with gold bits on. Sutton Mallet Church, Somerset. Oh, look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? The tissue paper to protect. Got one like this in Borough Green Church, remember? I always wanted to have one like this, actually, myself. We might have had one. Somebody might have had one in our family, so. Got pa pages in it. The Finding of Moses. It's very pretty. I'll, t I'll take some photos of that in a second. And then you've got a little cupboard in there for keeping your ornaments and turning your electric on. And for spiders. Let me climb up here. Oh, I say I get riddled with spiders these places. That's just trouble. And then you've got the gallery up there. Look, and then the vicar or the priest would stand up here, you'd be able to see everyone in their boxes, they could see in. They were protected from each other. I don't know the rules exactly, but that's how it seems to be, doesn't it? For some reason you had to be segregated from everybody. Oh, down there we've got a little bookstore. All her money goes to help for the restoration of the church and its upkeep so you'd be up here reading someone else would read down there there'd be different people doing readings I mean it could be done up a bit more the woodwork could be sanded down and but it's all money you see little steps I've got to go down here and then we've got the altar there from above we'll have a look very plain. I mean, once they might have had the commandments and things like that written on there, see? But you don't tend to get bassinas and things like that in these places. This is more like a chapel, really, isn't it? More like a chapel. This one doesn't open for some reason. I wonder why that one doesn't open. Got a box there with something in it. Temptation. They locked that one, that. Strange how they would have locked one. That must have been a special one then. If you actually could lock them as well. Yeah, I don't open, try and open that now. Look, because normally these these open like that, and you can get in. There's a spider there. Look, see look at that? Oh, scary! Isn't he? I've had them run up my leg before. Now they ain't, they ain't pleasant things, spiders. And this, they seem to like churches. It gives me like a creep down my spine. All 
Right, so, try and keep the camera steady, Sheila, because it might be all shaky. I've got no idea. So that one's locked. Yeah, it's weird, that, isn't it? We've got, even got a shander there that looks like a spider, look. Back to the hallway. But what you have to do with these is you have to get air in them. Because that's not working. That's Otterhampton, we've been there. That's over Stairway. So here we are, this is where the ordinary people would sit. And little children wouldn't be able to see anything, would they? There might have been kneeling cushions along here, by the way. When their church is cared for and used, you usually have, the women would make nice cushions. So this is just kept to the bare minimum, really, now, if you think about it. That's the bare minimum. I don't suppose they even have any, I wonder what that is. Something to keep her, uh, some little religious thing in. It's an old chair. I can remember these chairs with holes in like that. We had one. We had some like that ourselves when I was a child. Right, we are tempted to see if this is open, aren't we? They probably wouldn't open anything like that now because of people falling health and safety, you see. Right, over.